so much for this. It was a lovely Saturday morning with wonderful weather, and oh boy, I would have loved to stay in bed all day long. But being a productive student as I should be, I still force myself to get out of bed and walk to the dining hall to get some breakfast and energize myself for the day. I live in a dorm building quite far away from the nearest dining hall, so I actually have to walk for about 15 minutes to get into the nearest dining hall. But being a big foodie that I am, I wouldn't really mind sacrificing a little bit for really good food. And the dining halls at Cornell are actually really impressive. And by impressive, I really mean super duper cooper impressive. I don't think that I'm exaggerating when I say that Cornell Dining Hall might actually be on par with some fancy luxurious hotel in Vietnam where I'm from because we do a buffet for every meal like regardless of day or night. We always have a huge selection of food for students to choose from, from the hot dishes section to the salad bar to the bread section. Here at the bread section we have croissant or like croissant or pan au chocolat. I don't know, I don't know how to speak French. And I really love the melon here at the salad bar and they have some really nice dressing too. In the drinks counter, we have juice, we have soda. There is even Cornell Dairy Milk, which is produced by Cornell owned milk factories. We actually have our own factories on campus. My favorite thing to get in the morning is a really nice crispy waffle and we already have readily made waffle batter in a tank and I just need to pour that into the waffle machine and wait for a few minutes. Wow, our baby. Oh, it doesn't fit. It's so big. It's <laughs> special. Hello, Tammy. Hello. She's better at arranging food than me. Uh, it doesn't no, look like such a mess. This is kind of a disaster. <laughs> it's delicious, though. So. It's better than mine. <laughs> Piling up together. Let me take this out so people don't misunderstand that I get sponsored by In Pepsi. Endorsement Pepsi. Of Pepsi. <laughs> So today we're gonna do something very interesting that is packed with college students. Can you guys guess what it is? Can you guess? I don't know. Ooh, she doesn't know either. Well, we have to finish this meal and see. <laughs> I shall introduce you all to Club Festival, where all of the student organizations on campus introduce what they're doing in the year to new students who are lonely, confused, worried, troubled, bewildered, disorientated, distracted, perplexed, and puzzled. Just like me, standing alone on the grass. So everybody, I, I did not lie to you when I said that this is a really packed and competitive event. So you can look at this. Wow. That's more than people in my village. Since our student population is so diverse, we have people coming from different countries and different interests. There are so many types of activities that you can choose on campus, ranging from cultural activities, political union, or even like creative things like art and magazine. There are some even professional clubs that are dedicated to professional development, like finance for example, which has crazy low acceptance rates such as 1%, even lower than Harvard College admittance rate. But it makes sense in general that in such a prestigious environment, there are really selective clubs as well. So I sure hope that Mr. Andrew Dixon White sitting over there on that chair you are looking over a beautiful campus and are really proud of our students. Being fascinated myself, I decided to interview some club leaders about their events. Hello people, I think I found the cutest club on campus, so let them introduce themselves. Hi, we're the Artistic Beats Club. 
Wow. So as you can see, I said it's cute because look at their products. Oh. I really want to make cute things like this. Being talentless like me, this is going to be a great escape. It is. <laughs> okay, people. I think I found the coolest club on campus. <laughs> and what are, who, what are you guys doing? So we're the Meteor Carmelities. We are an a cappella group for bad singers. Basically, we're bad singers for a good cause. So you don't have to audition. You basically wow. just have to fill out an application. And it's like a really fun way for us to raise money for charity. We put on a concert every semester. Right. Yeah. So what is your inspiration behind this club? So it was founded in 2018. Um, he graduated last year, but he want he thinks that all the a cappella groups at Cornell were like just a little too like competitive and good. And he wanted something for the people that wanted to sing, but like weren't necessarily good at singing. Um, so he made the Mediocre Melodies, which is a great name. You have to admit, it's a great name. It's a great name. Can you guys do a quick performance here now? <laughs> or? Um. <laughs> well, you got to save the performing for the yeah, concert because we sell our tickets, we raise the money, we oh. got the Venmos coming in. So if you guys want to see us perform, you got to come to our concert, which will be at Call Auditorium in November. Right. I think. Okay, if you suck at singing, you're going to go here. Yes. Come to our club. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah. So, funny side story when I'm editing this video is that I actually applied to the Mediocre Melodies Club and they were supposed to be not competitive, but guess what? And I am rejected from the club! I thought that they're not competitive and like everyone can get in, but apparently I didn't. So is it because like I'm too bad at singing that I'm not even on the mediocre level? Or am I like too good at singing so they didn't want to accept me? It's a dilemma. Like I don't know. But the point is it's just that the club here is so competitive. That's all I'm saying. Let's get back to our original adventurous story. So we decided that it would be smart for us to temporarily escape from the huge crowd in club festival. Tammy and I started walking into our school library cafe to buy a Starbucks drink and prevent us from dying because of dehydration. But oh my god, look at the room over there. There were so many other students that had similar ideas. Well, they always say great minds think alike. So I guess our case is not an exception. Everywhere we see college students precariously peeking and secretly seeking for their drinks which are sitting and waiting for them at the counter. After 30 minutes of waiting, this is a footage that proved that we were resilient warriors and we finally got what we want. We decided to put an end to the competition. Cheers. <laughs> How do you feel about today? Miss? You know, I'm pretty happy. I feel like I saw a lot of new groups on campus today that I didn't know existed. So that's fun. That's good, I guess. This experience taught me a really philosophical question about life. Is that everything is really competitive. People are just trying to survive. They're trying to get attention and... Why am I giving this speech? <laughs> it is competitive. When you're living with... 20,000 people who have at least 1490 on the SAD so yeah that's life in the Ivy League institution I should say before going to my next activity I will fulfill my duties as an educated and responsible college student and do homework all of my assignments are in English and they will be graded using the same standards as students who are native English speakers from Cornell. I don't get any special leeway for being an international student, so it can get really tough, especially in subjects such as law, statistics, or econ when there are a lot of specialized vocabulary in my assignments. So you might be wondering how on earth am I able to do that? To possess a wide variety of English words and vocabulary to complete my assignments and compete with native English speakers who are already fluent since they were born. Some are even descendants of E.B. White. Well, if you guys didn't know, E.B. White, the author of Charlotte's Web, 
actually went to Cornell. So that's why I said that sentence. Well, work smarter and not harder because there are study tools out there that can help you memorize the absurd amount of knowledge available in the world. Are you, I mean you, struggling to learn English vocabulary in your daily life? Do you sometimes feel inferior to objects in your daily life? Like a sponge, for example. Because a sponge can absorb what I put in there and retain it there for a really long period of time. See, like it's wet right now. But you are just going to forget what you learn in a matter of seconds. Well, worry no longer because we have our sponsor for today, Mochi Mochi, which is an app that will help you fight against the intimidation of learning 1,000 new English vocabularies in a month. Basically, Mochi Mochi has applied the space repetition method to develop a special feature called Golden Time. This feature will help Mochi Mochi based on your learning history and calculate when to review vocabulary again for the best results. The app also automatically reminds you by notification when the golden time comes and notifies you of the new words you haven't memorized very well. Do you remember what you ate for breakfast today? Do you remember your cousin's grandma husband's best friend's birthday? Do you remember the second law of thermodynamics that you learned in physics class the other day? See, there are so many important things in life that we have to remember, but we can't. So why not get some assistance with an app that can help you learn new English words? As you can see on the screen, Mochi Mochi categorizes your words into five different levels of memory, from just learned to deeply memorized. It's like the Leitner system that I mentioned in my how to study video. You will focus on reviewing the words you can't remember instead of spending time reviewing all of your vocabulary list. Much smarter and save much more time. Mochi Mochi has 6,000 plus vocabulary with readily available courses for IELTS, TOEIC exam, English for high school students, and other several needs. Each lesson consists of 10 to 12 words with pronunciation audio, visualized pictures, and examples. You can learn and practice through its diverse set of exercises in each lesson. If you want to learn other words that have not been in the app yet, you can add external words with the Mochi Dictionary extension with more than 60,000 words. With each lesson, you only need about 5 minutes to complete. Learning in small lessons will make us less lazy and more motivated. Mochi Mochi also has an English community on Facebook group. In the group, there will be many challenges to learn English every day and many users share their results so that you will have more motivation to study English. You can download Mochi Mochi on the App Store and Google Play Store for three trials lesson right now. Try it out and tell me in the comments about your experience with the app. Now that I'm done with the app for learning English, I'm going to use it to learn more Japanese. Yeah, why you might ask? Just because I really want to watch anime without like reading the subtitles all the time. Well, it's valid motivation. Anything is valid motivation, so you guys can do that too. In the afternoon, my friends and I enjoyed some really fun games and activities for homecoming weekend. So for those of you who don't know, homecoming is an annual event in U.S. universities where we would welcome previous students and alumni back to campus. For Cornell University, our main color is bright red, so you can see a lot of red decorations around campus. Me and my friends also try to blend into the mood by wearing some of the school merch as well. Hello. So here's a game where uh, if you watch Mr. Bean, um, you have a stick and you have to poke it through without touching stuff. So we're going to be playing that today.
After a long day of participating in long events at school, it's finally time for me to walk home and thank you guys for going through a full day in my life with me. I'm very grateful that the ability to speak English in this world helped me to communicate better with native English speakers on campus and enjoy the activities of my university years just like everybody else. Thank you guys for going through a day in my life with me. I know English might be a great challenge to some of you all, so you should be proud of yourself that you're always trying your best. And who knows, one day you will confidently stand in front of a big crowd, giving an English speech, talking to foreigners in Vietnam or in any country in the world, and many more opportunities where you will feel confident that you know English. And I'm always here on the channel to support you guys. So hopefully when I see you in my next video, you can show off to me some really new English skills. So bye!